Yes, what's up, Canada? How you guys doing? You all right? You good? We're a mess, I'll admit it. My country, we, we got problems, we're a mess, but it's a fight. You got Republicans and Democrats. The one thing the Republicans can all agree on, that it's all the Democrats' fault. <laughs> I was watching a Republican presidential debate. It was unbelievable. Then I got to thinking, oh yeah, I remember back in 2008 when everything was perfect. And the amazing thing is the Democrats go along with it. They accept the blame. Every time the Republicans attack, the Democrats give up. Can anyone surrender in a fight quicker than a Democrat? Even France looks at the Democrats like, man up, what the hell? It's Barack Obama is a beaten man. Sometimes he looks like an abused wife. Every time he tries to fight the Republicans, they slap his ass and he's like, it'll be different next time. No, it won't. <laughs> They're gonna get drunk and slap your ass again. <laughs> and then the Republicans took over Congress. All right, and, and I gotta give credit where credit is due. When the Republicans took over Congress, they went from powerful to Jedi. <laughs> the Republicans are capable of Jedi mind tricks. For two years, Barack Obama was running around, I will not raise taxes on the middle class, I will raise taxes on the rich, the rich can afford it, they will pay, blah, blah, blah. Republicans were like, come here, young Obama. <laughs> you will not raise taxes on the rich. He's like, I will not raise taxes on the rich. These are not the tax increases you are looking for. <laughs> oh. It is unbelievable that they questioned the president on being American. It's like the plot of a bad James Bond movie. You know, like they were in Africa and they found this smart kid and they sent him to secret Muslim terrorist school, you know. Then they snuck him into the United States through Hawaii, because hell, nobody's checking over there. <laughs> but if I were hiding Muslims in the White House, would I really name them Barack Hussein Obama? <laughs> like, if I'm hiding Muslims, I'm not naming them Hussein. Be like, hey, I'd like you to meet my new friend, uh, uh, Leroy Jones. <laughs> it is unreal. Oh, we can't let the gays get married. Gay marriage is equal. And, and the Democrats fight for the gays. Oh, well, uh, how about civil unions? Uh, how about if they just hang out together? No. Gay marriage? That's an issue right now? You're talking to me about gay marriage? My house is worth $8. <laughs> uh, I'm paying $3,000 a month for an $8 house, and you want to talk to me about gay marriage? I'll tell you my solution to gay marriage. If two gay guys want to get married and buy my house, there's going to be a wedding. That's right. It is everything. Everything. The Democrats just give up. The Republicans set the agenda, and the Democrats just lay down. What is that? The Democrats are soft on defense. They're not defending the country. Oh, my gosh. They're not defending. What, are you kidding me? That Barack Obama signed the order to get Osama bin Laden. He signed the order to kill the number one terrorist in the world, and you're soft on defense, you're still nice to people, Barack Obama's still humble? If I signed the order to kill Osama bin Laden, I'd be the cockiest man on earth. <laughs> I'd just be walking to the press conference, yeah, what's up, I got his ass, that's right. I got his ass, that's all me, yeah, Barack's in the house, what's up? Hey. And it would be an amazing press conference because the reporters would be like, the, the president seemed amazingly black today. <laughs> I love you guys, Canada. Thank you for letting me do this. I'm 28 years old and I'm in show business. So, you know, if things go well, my wife hasn't even been born yet. <laughs> Really. I want to be so rich that when I say, yo, brother, what's up? I'm not saying hello. I'm asking, what are you doing in my neighborhood? 